Down this road, service members demonstrate Flintlock 16 is more than a military exercise. Uh, this fencing into the back of the truck here, and then the actual site where we're going to be working is around here to the left a couple hundred meters. We're going to put this fence up around uh, this little garden area that uh, these ladies have set up, help them protect it from animals. This farming project, coordinated by the U.S. Embassy Dakar, supports the involvement of women in the local economy. After the harvesting, we usually talk to the mission that manages us, and they would tell us the profits we made. From that money, we buy clothes and school materials for our kids. In order to grow food in a region of semi-arid land that spans across Africa, you not only need water. And can you imagine having to individually water plants like this back home? Proper soil management, but also strong relationships. I think it's a pretty awesome experience being able to help the community, being able to work with the Air Force and the Senegalese. They've been so hospitable to us, so it's nice to be able to give back a little bit. They grow the stuff, we'll be the muscle. These ladies can now leave the farm with ease after the efforts of members of the local community. Senegalese soldiers, West Virginia Air National Guard Airmen, and Navy Mobile Construction Battalion 22 CB. We used to go home and be worried about things destroying the work we did behind us. But with this kind of fence, now we can go home with a peace of mind. Staff Sergeant Ashley Corkins, yawning Senegal.